Westbury as of the top of the hour. The winds are down just a little bit. It's still category four. There are the winds 130 miles per hour. And what's remarkable about this hurricane, it's a major hurricane. It hasn't even moved today. It's just been stationary over the far northern Bahamas. And let's go in with a little closer inspection to show you when this is hopefully going to just pass well off from the southeast coastline. Here's that cone of uncertainty. We have been in that across southeast Georgia. This is really one of the first times here in the last several days where that has been pushed off the coastline or we are not included in it. But as this moves by, it's still forecast to be a major hurricane. So what that means is the wind field will still be very expansive. We'll have tropical storm force wind gusts very likely across our area. And the biggest change here in the last few hours is that coastal Chatham County, Bryan County, Liberty County, McIntosh and Glen counties have now been placed into a storm surge warning. That means you need to prepare for storm surge and coastal flooding, water, saltwater inundation, likely in low line areas. And this could be uh, maybe one of the top five highest tide levels we have seen in recorded history here out at Fort Pulaski up in the low country. It is a storm surge watch at this point, but we certainly expect that that will probably be changed to a warning as we go through the next 12 or 18 hours. Now the high tide forecast, we have just updated this. A reminder here, major flooding occurs at 10 feet at Fort Pulaski slash Tybee Island. The forecast tide level tomorrow, 9.6 feet at 12 noon. Wednesday around midday or shortly after that, this is the number one concern for probably this entire system is coastal flooding. We may see the tide level approach 11 feet. That would probably put some water into those parking lots along River Street and obviously be flooding parts of Tybee Island. Really a lot of our coastal areas that are prone to any type of flooding around 10 feet or higher. Here's the tropical satellite right now. As we mentioned, Dorian has not moved today. Earlier in the day, it was moving at one mile per hour, and then during the afternoon, it's just been stationary. This is a look at about the last six hours, and we'll just kind of wait for it to start making a motion to the north. And once it does so, this particular model here just kind of grazes the coastline through about I-95 with some rain. If you live well inland, there are a chance that some of our inland counties do not get one drop of rain from this if it takes this sort of path. Here is the eye, very ominous. We are still expecting tropical storm force winds across our area and that storm surge flooding. This is a pretty quick mover once it actually starts to make a motion and should be out of here sometime on Thursday. Now, Dorian's impacts east of I-95 toward the coast. Wind gusts 45 to 65 miles per hour. One to three inches of rain highest at the beaches. Coastal flooding, storm surge, clearly the number one threat. Could be some isolated power outages with those tropical storm force winds. If you live west of 95, the farther inland you go, the impacts will drop off quickly. Wind gusts 30 to 50 miles per hour, a trace to an inch and a half of rain. And if there's an inch and a half of rain, it's probably a little closer to I-95. Any isolated power outages there, maybe a tree branch or a limb is down. And the forecast for the next few days, near 90 tomorrow. Some afternoon showers or maybe a passing thunderstorm. On Wednesday, rain develops near the coast. Some wind gusts 30 to 50 plus miles per hour. Also, the high tide in the afternoon. We need to watch that closely. And then most of this will start to wind down very early on Thursday as the storm pulls away. So improving weather conditions already by Thursday afternoon. If there's any rain, it is pretty early in the morning. Hot weather behind this Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We're really hoping the power outages are minimal or none across the area with hot temperatures expected Friday right through this upcoming weekend. Track our forecast. It is the area certified most accurate. A great way to do